Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. Last time, we managed to defeat Rex Raptor, and this time, we'll be moving on to the Weevil Underwood fight. In my opinion, Weevil Underwood is a step above Rex Raptor. He did beat him in the tournament, and we might as well put him next. So, Weevil is a wood monster user, as sh yeah, that should have been pretty obvious. Hopefully, we do good against him, but who knows? He could be a threat. I don't feel that threatened, but, I mean... It's Weevil. Gotta give him some love. Give him some screen time. Plus, his map should look cool. Rex's was kind of just a... Ooh. Rex's was kind of whatever, but this looks like it could be interesting. This looks like it could be very interesting. So, what are wood monsters weak to? They're weak to fire. Which means that uh, Weevil probably has some water monsters, because the map also has water on it, to protect his uh, wood monsters. Plus, I wonder what his boss is gonna be. <laughs> Long time no see, Weevil. If you want to get your grubby little hands on the tournament title, you have to go through me. Sounds easy enough. Let's go. Then that's what I'll I also do. have a Weevil Wonderwood deck when I play with my friends because it's super cool. Place. It's a terrible, terrible Come deck, but I love it. Now, right yeah, let's go. That's fine with me. It's time to do All right, you little cheater, even though I shouldn't call you a cheater because Yugi's just as big of a tree cheater as you. Let's do this. Alright, so bring a fire monster here wouldn't be a bad idea, but if you're going to bring a fire monster, you might as well bring something to fight water monsters as well, which is wind. So I'm probably going to bring, well, I'm going to bring my basic crew. I have a crew, a crew of po uh, Pokemon, a crew of, cre of Yu-Gi-Oh monsters I like to use. I've been playing Pokemon, Digimon, and now Yu-Gi-Oh on, on my channel right now. It, it gets complicated. So he has two grass monsters, three grass monsters, uh, one water monster, one lightning monster. So, don't bring any light monsters. I'm going to bring a light monster. Lightning is weak to earth. We did get a new earth monster, so I could bring earth now. Um, I'm going to bring Petite Moth just because Petite Moth's cool. We don't have as much MP. This, wait, 280 King Rex is worth more than freaking Summon Skull? Holy crap. Well, Summon Skull is still our boss. I don't care what anybody says. So, I'll be bringing Summon Skull. Now, to deal with his... Oh, okay, we need wind to deal with his water monster. Uh, to deal with his grass monsters, we only have Fire Reaper. I guess we'll bring one Fire Reaper. Are you close to a leveling up? You are. Yeah, we'll bring one Fire Reaper. Time Wizard, you're coming just because you're Time Wizard. Uh, we have pieces of Exodia. We lost our Kariba last time. We could bring two out of King Red. Oh, no, we couldn't. It costs so much money to use him. So much money. We can bring Feral Imp again. Feral Imp's pretty good. Yeah. So this, one, this is not as many monsters. Last time we got to use eight monsters. This time we're only using six. Which, that's not bad. That's what we're used to, but still. And now that we're in the grass, it's going to be a little bit harder to break out of this place. So, Time Wizard, I'm going to put you... Let's say right here. There you go. Uh, Fire Reaper, I do need you in the front line since that's kind of your whole thing in this area. So, let's put you right here. Uh, Petite Moth, I kind of want you in the front lines too because you're cool. Uh, Baby Dragon for the Water Monster, I need you in the front lines. Oh, and I actually looked it up finally. To fuse Baby Dragon and Time Wizard, you need Time Wizard at level 3, Baby Dragon at level 5. So very brutal just to get a fusion monster. But if you really like fusions, you got to make it happen, you know? I'm going to put Feral Imp right here, and then our boss Summon Skull is going to be chilling in the back. I mean, he's useful, but he doesn't need to be the front of, in the front, because I don't want him to die super early. He's not as tanky as two headed King Rex, but he hits harder, so it's 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 a definitely a good monster to have on hand. But we'll see if it uh, works out. It's time to stop. it's time to duel. Let's do this. Uh, we have our level two thing. I'm gonna summon Baby Dragon. It costs a lot. I'm gonna summon my Wood Guy first because he costs very little. I'm going to summon my Fire Reaper because he costs very little. Plus, he's the monster we're gonna be needing this time around. And I'm going to summon Feral Imp because he can summon darkness onto the field, and I like that ability. And that should be it. Yeah, that's all we can do for now. After that, let's see, three of those. This duel is going to be so much fun. Yeah, you creepy, creepy dick. You only summoned five monsters when you could have had six? Does that mean your monsters are actually... Oh, you have Cockroach Knight, that's why. That thing's pretty tough. And, oh, is that a Larvae Moth? Larvae Moths are actually pretty cool. They're, evo they're the evolved forms of Petite Moth. So you see how we have a Petite Moth here? If uh, you're on a spot with over, I think, 30 wood or something, like this is 23. Uh, what's 30 wood? 
Is it like over here? Would this count? I don't know. I need to find it. Might be one of these special areas over here. But you can evolve your larvae moth if you find a spot with like 30 wood or something. And right now it's only 23, so that's fine. We'll find something special. And maybe it's down here. 23, 23. I don't know. But for, for now, let's just focus on summoning. Get our get our AP meter to get way higher. Summon Skull is now summoned to the field. Baby Dragon, of course. Our baby has to be done. And now our... What is this? Time Wizard. Time Wizard also has to be done. So with that, we're going to move Fire Reaper to the right. Because Fire Reaper needs to move right. We're going to move... I'd say Petite Moth forward, because that's just something we need to do. Petite Moth, go over here. And then we'll chill. But yeah, your pieces can actually evolve in this game, and it's pretty useful. Uh, personally, I can't really do anything with Petite Moth, because I don't know how to get 30 wood at the moment. Which, yes, I know that sounds funny, but just ignore it. Ignore any comedy. Um, oh, Cockroach Knight, it would be his front line. He's coming with it. Um, let's see. I'm going to move Time Wizard to the top right. Yep, because he can move pretty damn far. I'm going to move Baby Dragon all the way to the right with Time Wizard. I'm going to move Summon Skull out of the woods, which is to the right. There you go. Um, Teep Moth, I'm going to move you, let's say, this way. Just stay in the wood area. Uh, Feral Imp. You're going to move out because I need you to get to attack zone. Uh, he hasn't actually done anything with his water monster, so I'm going to start moving forward with Fire Reaper. I don't have to worry. When his water monster starts to get aggressive, I'm going to focus my uh, my efforts on putting Baby Dragon up front. But we'll see if that works out. It could be a problem, but I, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. So, water monster. Root water. Okay, we can handle a root water. And, ah, oh, Shovel Crusher. That's actually a pretty good Pokemon. Poke, oh my god. It's actually a pretty good, Di don't say Digimon. It's actually a pretty good Yu-Gi-Oh monster. But I don't know how well it's going to go. So, now that it's our turn, let's just go ahead and... Oh, sorry about that little stutter, guys. I actually had something come up real quick. But I'm back and I am ready to play the game. <sighs> a little out of breath, but don't worry about that. Oh, wait, wait, we can do it now. Holy crap. Wait, why can we evolve now? Okay, whatever. We can evolve. And now that we can evolve, we are evolving into Larvae Moth, which... Um, it goes back to level 1, but its attack strength goes up by 10. Its HP goes up by, looks like, over 20. Its AP takes a little bit more to summon it now, but it's still cool. Its defense goes up. Its attack does not change except... Oh, it does change. Its attack pattern changes, which isn't great, but still. This will be the first time I get to show you guys evolution. And to be honest, Petite Moth is not a monster you want to evolve out of all your monsters. Like, this is a monster, like, you should just get from Weevil. But I thought it'd be cool to show evolution. So here you go. Dun, dun little petite moth here you go and for those of you that are curious larvae moth also can evolve but you need to get it up to a high level as well i don't remember the level i think it's like three as well and then you need to fight in a map like this where there's a lot of wood don't know what that means but you, you know what that's what it, that's what it means uh we got this thing cockroach knight attacks side to side this thing moves two right one two okay so you're safe here fire reaper uh, Baby Dragon, I need you to move more right because there's still the problem with Baby Dragon's weak to wind. Or, Baby Dragon's actually weak to wood, so it'd be bad for him to fight here. But I need him to move his root water out, out of position so that I can hit it. Uh, Summon Skull, let's get you into a good, a good position. Uh, you can't actually fight yet, but we'll get you there. Time Wizard, you can fight. But if I do that, Shuffle Crusher will destroy you. So, let's have you stay back a little bit. <sighs> Even more than that. If I put you here, you're going to get bit. So, if I put you here, you can actually help next turn. So, let's put you here for now. And then everyone else is done. So, let's do this. Bring it on, Weevil. Hopefully, you're a bigger fight than Rex. Rex only killed one of my monsters. Meaning that Taya and Grandpa were stronger. Oh, because you have Larvae Moth, it attacks to the side. That's actually sucks for me. 
but yeah so if you want to get great moth uh larva moth evolves into great moth at like level three and then like 50 wood or whatever the hell that means um and then if you want to get level what if you want to get perfectly ultimate great moth you have to get great moth to a really high level which you know it just it gets more and more insane uh for rex though he only has larvae moth which is still better than petite moth but i mean it's not that impressive so we'll deal with that oh what's going on why'd the screen go black uh ps2 okay good oh the map's changing that's why Ooh, what's going on it's so beautiful the lights i can see i can see clearly now the the mushrooms have lit up the sky the moon is in the sky what does that even mean what gets a buff in this it's probably not darkness but oh yeah darkness got a neg a negative we're, we're down so that's not good darkness has been nerfed uh we can attack from here though so i'm gonna attack that cockroach knight screw that guy 102 damn that's really good attack but his hp is way too high way too high i could do use fire reaper to deal with what's left but if i do that how much is he gonna live with oh no it'll just destroy him wait does that mean you can destroy larvae moth all by yourself just out of curiosity no you need help okay you know what i'm gonna use this uh you're gonna stay here and you're going to destroy the oh but then again why would i even do that you could destroy him if i no matter what this the shovel crush is going to want to kill you so if i put you here in the water your defense would be up plus two you might actually have a, fi a fighting chance against shovel crusher here so let's go over here uh shovel crusher th 73 damage that's like nothing and you 74 damage same thing it's like nothing so let's have you attack shovel crusher go ahead and get a big chunk in there all right three experience for you fire reaper let's have you chill for one second because i want to see if summon skull being our boss monster can he finish it off even with a negative 12 attack he cannot but that's the only thing he can attack, so I'm going to let him do it. So go ahead. There you go. Now Larvae Moth on this map act- Oh wow, our Summon Skull is leveling up right on the map. Heck yeah, nice. Our boss monster is getting even stronger. That should make Feral Imp happy, because Feral Imp used to be our, our boss. And he is the highest level monster we have. Alright, so if I move here, Baby Dragon could come up here to help. And Baby Dragon likes this new area. His he, he has a really strong power boost right now. Uh, Fire Reaper, you have a choice. I could have you destroy this guy. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to have you do that. Go ahead, destroy that guy. Just go ahead and kill him. Because Fire Reaper is dead next turn, but it doesn't really make a difference if he's dead. Because these monsters aren't even threats. Oh, Fire Reaper leveled up. Good for him. Hopefully that heals him a little bit, but I don't think it does. So, damn. Not going to help you. I know, I know. Uh, Larvae Moth, let's get you out of the side. Let's get you into the light. You have a big boost here, so let's have you chill right here. Alright, now... I gotta be a little bit safer. I know it's not good. Alright, Root Water ran. Oh crap, Root Water ran. So they're going for the kill on Time Wizard no matter what. As long as Root Water is in the water, it's a threat. It could do a lot of damage. Uh, that means the light monster if is gonna kill it. Then my monster will not <coughs> Yugi, shut up. Time Wizard's dead. We won't be able to use it next turn, which is fine. Uh, you're going for Flay. Ah, oh, no, Reaper. Even with Larvae Moth. Oh, because Larvae Moth gets buffed on this terrain. Damn it. Damn it. He didn't fear the Reaper. Petite Moth. Oh, wow. Petite Moth is going to get the kill? Okay. Cool. If Petite Moth got the kill, then that means Shovel or whatever is going after Larvae Moth, which would really, really suck for me. Because Larvae Moth wouldn't be able to fight back. Still, Larvae Moth could take that hit pretty well. Honestly, really well. Wow, that evolution was worth it. Alright, so Lightning, what are you weak to? You're weak to Earth. I didn't bring any Earth, so I'm just going to have to beat you. Beat you with power. So I'm going to move you here. You're going to help out... Uh, going to help out with this guy. Oh, wow, you could kill him. Okay, yeah, kill him. Thank God for Time Wizard uh, helping out earlier on because thanks to time wizard's effort we can actually kill this thing and then yes good for you feral limb 
Level up to level four? Holy crap, yes! Yes, you're leveling up. Yes, you're a really powerful piece. Oh my god. Uh, Larvae Moth, now that that thing's out of your way, you can attack Petite Moth. So hopefully, even though we took heavy damage, we can take this thing on. All I need to do is be able to take its next attack, which... Uh, that's a little bit risky, but we, uh, we might be able to do it. Yeah, I know it's not going according to plan. And then Summon Skull, you, you're a negative here, but at least you can do a lot of damage in one attack. His Larvae Moth is a problem, though. It's, it's a pretty strong monster. I could have the Baby Dragon go in to kill it, but Baby Dragon needs to focus on getting rid of that Root Water. Because that Root Water is really, really dangerous to my whole party. So, Root Water, hello. You're about to fight Baby Dragon. Yeah, that's some really good damage. Thank God for Baby Dragon or we be in trouble here. I don't know why Wind beats Water, but it does. And we're going to take advantage of that. Whew, three experience. Not bad. Ugh, leave my face alone. That Your face looked disgusting there. Disgusting. How dare you, Weevil. Alright, with Time Wizard dead, that's kind of a bummer. But it should still be fine. His pieces are just Root Water and what else? Uh, Petite Moth. Okay, please don't kill my Larvae Moth. I just got him to evolve. Ah, damn it! With the Terrain Boost, he's able to kill him. So our brand new Larvae Moth that we just got to evolve and just got to kill could not do this. Couldn't even defeat its baby form. It's fine. We're losing a lot of monsters this time. It just shows you that Weevil's stronger than what we've been fighting. He has 161 attack. Holy crap, that Larvae Moth of his is a beast. Still, we're in the game. Summon Skull is not going anywhere. Root Water in the water can do a lot of damage. Wow, not really. Wind resists it, so... It should have done a lot of damage, but thanks to our Baby Dragon being resistant to water, he could take the hit. It was half his health, though, so... Gonna have to do something about that. Yeah, you better make your Captain Peace run away. I would want that. Hell, I would want that more than any of your other monsters. So, every move is another step in achieving my future. Can I win in this turn? That's the only question I have. Yes, I can. Okay. The duel's over, everybody. You can all go home. His Summon Skull is gonna kill Larvae Moth. Do it like this. This is Payback Larvae Moth for attacking my monster. I don't know why you were such a jerk about it. Boom. Easy kill. Next, we're going to have... Wait for it. Feral Imp, move to the side. You're going to kill off the Petite Moth over there. And then... Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Petite Moth, you fall. And finally, Baby Dragon, you're staring your enemy in the face. I want you to kill it. Luckily, Time Wizard only needs to get to level 3 if I ever want to do Fusion, and Baby Dragon's the one that really needs to level up, so... Baby Dragon, why don't you get the final kill? Beautiful. This will now that I defeated uh, you, what do, what do I want from you? I could say, like, Larvae Moth was your boss monster, but I just evolved into a Larvae Moth, so do I even want one? I might. Oh, this is a, nightmare. a nightmare, you say? Yeah, you're right. This is a nightmare. You got your ass kicked. Goodbye, Weevil. Good job killing my monsters and ruining my day. But you are out of the game. No! How could I lose? Cause you're a loser. Ha. A duel is never over until the very end. Okay, no shit, Yugi. Ah. Alright, defeated. 32 experience, but that means Baby Dragon's gonna level up due to our symbol bonus, whatever that is. At the end of the duel. Here it comes. The 25 experience for everybody. Very nice. Our old boss monster, our boss monster summon skull, and our baby dragon got it. So Larvae Moth, did you kill one of my monsters? You got a lot of experience already. Petite Moth, eh. It's not bad. Cockroach Knight, I don't have one, I don't think. Shovel Crusher, it's not bad. So yeah, Larvae Moth was definitely your boss out of all these. It's not your strongest monster, but it did the most. So I'll take it. Do I want our Petite Moth? I don't want another Petite Moth. Do I want our Root Water? I'll take another Root Water. Screw it. Yeah, I'll just take another Root Water. Give me that. I don't care about Root Water, but he, he could join the team again. Just in case I happen to lose my other one. Alright, but that'll be it, everybody. We have defeated the evil... Well, not evil, but Weevil uh, Underwood. And now that he is gone, we can move on to our next opponent. Who is it going to be? I don't know, just not Mai. Mai's the boss of this area, in my opinion. So I want to thank you all for watching. 
and see you guys next time.